And we back. Like bra straps is Vice Lombardi here to take a look at Ryan Ramchick. Sorry, Ryan Ramchick. Uh, left tackle, Wisconsin. Let's jump right into it, y'all. I know I've been gone for a minute. Pardon me. Uh, man, let's just do it like this, man. Let's just get the film started and I'll give my opinion as I go. Let's do this. Let's go. Where we at? Where my play button? Boom. Ryan Ram checks the left tackle. He's right here. Let's take a look at what happens here. Uh, first play. Boom. Let's watch him get off the ball here. Cool little get off the ball there. Let's take a look at this. He's standing straight up here. I, I I I would like for his hat to be a little lower. That's cool. How about your hands? Your hands are on the shoulders of the defensive end. I would like them a little more inside. That's all good. I know Ryan's not a, it's not a powerful dude. You know, he's not the most powerful dude in the world. So I would like for his uh, I would like for his hands and his and his technique and his feet to be perfect every time because he's not gonna you know straight ass whoop nobody. So let's see what else we got here. What happened here? We get a block on the defensive end there. A decent little stone at the line of scrimmage. That's a linebacker. Decent little stone. That's a, okay, that's a defensive. Okay, that's a linebacker with his hand on the ground. Cool. Nice little stone at the line of scrimmage. We got a stunt coming around from the inside. Ryan was aware to pass along and recover. Not a bad block right there. It's not a bad block right there. What else we got? Where Ryan at? Right here? What else we got? Not a lot of movement again, okay? Now, this 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 is this is my thing, right? Offensive linemen, see this black line is the line of scrimmage. I either want people going down the line of scrimmage or this side of the line of scrimmage. I never want people, you know, on the other side of it. That's called penetration. I don't, I don't, I don't like penetration, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't like this this young man standing right there behind the line of scrimmage. I don't appreciate that at all. But we'll cross that road when we get there. Okay, I ain't made my mind up about Ryan Ramchek yet. You know, I'm just you know we just winging it right now. Okay, let's see. Fifty one, pass my spot. How about right here though? What happens here? You're gonna see Ryan kick, but I want to see Ryan kick with a little more depth. Okay, see these short choppy steps. We kick for a reason. We kick to get space. When I say we, I mean offensive lineman. Uh, we kick to get space so we can react to what's in front of us properly so we're not in bad position, right? The person with more advantage space wins. If you kick here, you're not giving yourself more room to work uh, to uh, to work with, see? Now, if Ryan was, like, back here or something like that, he'll have a little bit more room to recover and scoop this guy back inside here. But the fact that these first few steps were, you know, Kind of like this here, short and choppy and not really getting much space there. Uh, you're uh, giving this defensive end the advantage to go get around you. Now, granted, he didn't make the sack, but he did make your quarterback go. And he had to get rid of the football, see? So we'll just keep eyes on that. I want you to kick with a little more depth, okay? What's going on here? Mm, more of the same thing. More of the same thing, you know. You 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 got your hands on them, but if you're here, you you're you're in bad position, right? I don't want you having to turn the corner because you're giving him the edge. Basically, you're 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 giving the end the corner here. You don't want to do that, right? Because shit, if if you open up on him like that, he could spin inside. He could take the corner. He can push you into the quarterback. He got options, right? But if you kick with enough depth and stop him here, if you stop him there. If you were in good position, you would stop him here so you wouldn't have to be out of position there. You see what I'm saying? You haven't even touched him yet. See? But it's all good, Ryan Ramchek. I'm not I'm not prepared to say, you know, you don't do well with speed and power rushes just yet. You know, I'm not I'm not prepared to say that. Something Ryan does really, really well. You're gonna see this on all his highlight tapes. Uh, you're gonna see him get to second level and block linebackers really well. We got uh, sometimes you got to do a hat check because you know Wisconsin they they'll they'll throw these tight ends down here. And it's hard to find where where the left tackle is. Ryan is that helmet right there. See that helmet? It's right there. And you're gonna see Ryan Ramchick scoot and get his ass to the second level in a hurry. He's gonna block his linebacker immediately. Give you give you a good little blow right there. I like that though. I wish he'll give a give a good little blow 
on these goddamn defensive linemen. But that's another level, though. That's a whole nother conversation that, you know, we ain't even having yet. Uh, where that play go? Right there. Uh, but, yeah, he, he uh, fires off the football, delivers a good blow. He gets to the second level in a hurry. So, good job there, Ryan Ramchek. What about this, though? <clears throat> Decent little down block. Um, what I think happened was defense end was taking his momentum this way anyway, and that's a uh, that's actually one of our tools that we use, man. We use momentum all the time. If you're going one way and it's the way I need you to go, I'm going to scoot your ass that way. So that's an aware little, uh, little uh, block technique that Ryan just used right there. So not bad, Mr. Ramchek. What's going on here? Let's see what happens. It's not very powerful, you know. We don't we don't see a lot of a lot of block control here. Now, in this scenario, he can use these short kick steps here because he ha he doesn't have to uh, kick with a lot of depth here. The rush is not going to give him a deep rush. He's this this rush is going to go more down the middle of Ryan. So Ryan can use these short steps, right? Now, once you you know take your steps and get your depth, I want. You know, your hands are fine right here. I want you to deliver a blow and not go backwards any more than what you have to, right? We go backwards to give ourselves space. We don't go backwards just to go backwards because we'll, you know, we'll end up running into the quarterback, right? Let's see who delivers the blow here. Let me rewind. Let's let's all watch Ryan, Ryan Ramchek. Let's see who delivers the blow here. You see, Ryan didn't deliver the damn blow. That's not that's a decent block, but when you look at it. Okay, when you when you just know offensive lineman, what, what what you see is he had no control and he didn't really deliver that ass whoop like you wanted. Look at this. He blocked the guy, but you see him losing control right here. You, you like like you see the defensive lineman winning, and if the defensive lineman was a little more a little more polished, he he probably could have done something nasty to Ryan right here, right? Because Ryan technically wants the block to be done right here. That's what you want. Okay, Ryan didn't want to give give all this ground up. See what I'm saying? Now the end ended up being blocked, but I just want to see what I just want to see what is what is what his core strength is like, right? I want to see you explode into this guy at this point and stop that damn block, man. But they kept running all around a little bit, but that's not a terrible block. It's just that I get real particular about my offensive line blocks, man. I come from this. I come from this. But, hey, decent block, Ryan. I just wish it was a little more nasty and powerful and as would be. Can I get a punch here? Let me see. Let me see where you at. Can I get a punch? Give me a punch. You catching this dude. Punch that man. Anyway, Ryan doesn't have long arms neither. I know I'm replaying this play like 80,000 times, whatever. I know people hate that, but whatever. F y'all. Ryan, Ryan doesn't have long arms to not just be punching people, so... You you need to punch people as much as you can, bro. What is this a screen here? Got a little jog action there. No problem. It is what it is. <laughs> you you couldn't have made a block you wasn't gonna make anyway. Not bad. Uh, let's see what happens here. Round up top. First of all, he caught the guy. Hey, Ryan, punch these dudes, okay? Punch that dude. Get your hands on him first. That's how we win. Plus, I want you to kick at a little more depth, okay? See that? Come on, Ryan. If you kick at the proper depth and deliver a punch, the block would have been over right there. The block would have been over right there. But you didn't really stop him from moving forward. That's what the punch is for. To stop him in his tracks, to stone that dude, right? The fact that you didn't deliver a blow and that he did, we're all going the direction he wants to go. Forward for him, backwards for us, right? And you are already at, at bad depth anyway. He's, he's going to get around you. He's going to do what he wants to do, right? Hit these people first, Ryan Ramchick. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not jumping to judgment yet. I'm just letting you know that that's what I want to see. Where you at? Okay, just kind of down blocking a dude to set the little play up. Okay, whatever, cool. Just set, set it up. Set it up and leave me alone. Mm, let me 
Let me let me move on a little bit around up here jogging around. <laughs> Pissing me off. Uh let's see. All right, cool. Let's look at this play. Let's see what we got here. What, what, what y'all see first? What y'all see first? Who has the inside? Who hands are on the inside right here? Ryan, Ryan's up top, the defense. Let me pause. I mean, whose hands are inside right now? Who arms are longer? Defense Van got the longer reach here. He got his hands inside of Ryan, meaning Ryan's arms are inside. So now, instead of worrying about driving and blocking, Ryan first got to get his hands inside. So... <clears throat> He gave up a little bit of penetration on the on the, uh back end of that, but I mean I'm not, I'm not ready to <sighs> And y'all may think this is not a big like a like a like a big deal here. Like y'all think this ain't a big deal, but like what if the running back wanted to bounce outside? He can't. <laughs> he can't no more, right? And part of this cutback has something to do with it, right? Can't even get outside no more, man. Look at that. Mm mm mm. Mm, mm, mm. I ain't mad at you, Ryan, but let's see what's let's see what else going on. Let's see, uh Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Let's see. What's going on in this next play? Bro, will you kick, please? <laughs> will you will you please kick and get some depth on this dude? Ryan Ram check up top. He ain't even moving. I wish I had the other view so I can see what the hell his feet doing right now. My bad. It's like, see what the hell his feet doing. Look at this. He ain't even moving. Giving up all the depth. All the chicken. All the pig feet. All the collard greens. Look at this. All the hog moles. Look. Come on, man. Hey, man. Hey, I ain't mad at you. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's take a look at this play. Let's take a look at this play. The plays that I'm moving on from are plays where either where both guys aren't giving much effort or something that I've went over before. Right there, there are times where you'll see a defensive lineman not really fire off the ball and Ryan would just catch him or whatever. Those are the plays where I'm just like skipping by those or just non significant plays. I'm showing y'all plays where I can give you commentary from. Okay, how about this? Let's see what's going on. Okay, what's what's next, man? Um, so let's let's go to this, man. Let's just move on to this. And you know, to be fair, bro. To be fair, like somebody's gonna get Ryan and put him in a put him in a weight room. NFL strength and conditioning is is a is a very real thing. So somebody's gonna do it. So. Let's not let's not panic, really, kind of sorta. If you get Ryan Ramchick, don't think this is something that's gonna happen forever. But you gotta have a little bit in you. And this is on this side of the line of scrimmage. And we've seen a bunch of plays like this, right? I'm not isolating a player two, right? Like Man, let's just get out of here, man. Let's uh let's go to Let's just get all the way away from Ohio State because maybe having a hard time with Ohio State, guys. I don't know. Let's take a look at this. <sighs> no, 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 no. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. 59. Oh, six. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look at this. Where you at, Ryan? Ryan Ramchak. Let me find him first. He's this guy here. He's this guy here. Let's see. I picked this play because... Maybe I'm missing something with his first step, maybe, right? But there should be a reason why he's giving up this type of penetration like this. Um, it seems like everybody's blocking right. So I want Ryan Ramchek's shoulder. I mean, I, I want his head on the opposite shoulder, right? I want him to cover up as much body as he possibly can. The D lineman's winning because he's only having to deal with half of Ryan Ramchek. He's only dealing with the right side of Ryan. You see what I'm saying? As though Ryan needs to block this entire dude, he's only blocking the right side of him. You see? Maybe if his first step was a little quicker, he could, you know, he can get around the face of this guy. But instead, he just kind of, you know, 
ended up on this side of the line of scrimmage. I mean, I mean, it's just you know, it is what it is. I ain't hating on him. He's just on that li- at that side of the line of scrimmage. Got to figure out why. Uh, let's see what's what's going on here. Okay, you see a decent start here, right? And this is what what this is it one of the examples of what makes me feel like Ryan should be a lot more powerful, or he you know lacks power, right? This is Ryan Ramchek right here. Mm, can't really find his hat is ducked off behind this dude, but this is his body here, right? You're gonna see him fire off the ball. Well, should I take that back? He ain't fire off the ball. Okay, my bad. It's a uh, it's a uh, draw play. Everybody's faking the pass first, then they're going. Okay, cool. So we're gonna see Ryan Ramchek. Okay, cool. He's going to set his little pass block. He's going to come off the football. Now, this is him engaged in the block right here. If you can kind of kind of see him right there. This is him engaged with this dude right here. Now, Ryan's in great shape at this point. I can see it a little better than y'all can, but Ryan's in great shape right now. Now, if he was powerful, he'll just go ahead and drive this dude and take him, just, just take him away from the play. This is the position we fight for. Head down, hands inside, body covered up. Now we can drive our feet and move people out the way, right? If you're powerful enough to do it. I don't think Ryan's powerful enough to do it because even though he's in great position here, this happens. Dude just able to come off the ball, see? if a if a if Think about it like this. If a third grader was trying to push you out of the way and he was in great position, but when it was time to leave, you could just... Push this third grader out of the way whenever you want to and go make the block. No matter how perfectly he lined up with you, move that third grader out of the way whenever you want to. That's how I look at him. Ryan Ramchick, this defensive lineman disengaged from Ryan whenever he wanted to, to go make the play. It is what it is. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. What's going on? Ryan is here. Mm, okay. I mean that's a that's a decent little block. I need a little more effort from from you know 57. 57 ain't really ass whooping. You know what I mean? But hey, Ryan got his hands inside. He engaged. Decent little fight. Kept his feet moving. Dip his knees a little bit, okay. Not bad. Cool. That's better. That's better, Mr. Ram check. Mr. Ram Ram Mr. Ram. Let's see. Uh 51. All right, let's see. I got a decent little short set right here is what I say in my note section. Decent little short set. He, he seems to do well with short sets, right? I've seen a few of these where he has, you know, some positivity here. Take a short step, one, two, boom, get hands on the guy. Stop him at the line of scrimmage. He seems to be better that way, right? He can deal with, with, those, with those inside type of sort of guys, right? Put him on the outside. You got action against one of those speed guys, against one of these guys right here. Oh man, you got action with that dude. Uh, let's see. Let's just see. Let, let, let's just run this film a little bit, man. Cause I don't want y'all to think I'm like skipping over important stuff. <sighs> let's see. Once again, another short set. Decent little block with the short set here. Had a little combo help with the guard almost a little bit. Not bad there. What else? Ryan is here. Another decent little set. I hate this. I hate these kicks, though. I hate those kicks. <laughs> but a decent little set, though, man. Um, my bad. My bad. We got him going to the next level again. Ryan's pretty damn good getting getting to the next level, man. He's pretty damn good getting there. I like him. I like him doing that. I like him chasing linebackers and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, One. To Ryan's right there. Yep, hitting those linebackers. I love it when he does it. Now we ain't just gonna sit up here and watch him block linebackers all day. We're gonna get back to some nitty gritty. We're gonna get back to the realness. Ryan is there. Let me tell you something. Like, especially on these on these plays where like the and it's always number like fifty seven when it happens. On these plays where um, the defensive linemen, they aren't firing off and really like whooping ass like time out. If they're going to come off the ball slow, if if you're if I'm Ryan Ramchick or I'm his coach or whatever, I want you to hit that dude, man. I'm Ryan it. I want to. If, if, if he's going to come off the ball like that, like not too, 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 too crazy, like that's still some good, 
you know, that's a good D lineman or whatever. But if he ain't gonna come off the ball too, 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 too crazy. Okay, what I mean by like too, 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 too crazy. Okay, like look at look at this guy here. Look at this guy here. Like he like he fighting off the ball, right? This this dude here. This dude here. He he whooping some ass, right? This guy not so much. Right, as long as you come out the ball like that, Ryan's good. But if that's gonna be the case, Ryan, I want you to hit him first. Ryan's catching this guy. Like, see that? He's catching this dude. And when you catch people, you end up behind the damn line of scrimmage. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, guys. I want Ryan to be a little more nasty and put a little more ass whoop and drop it out the tank a little bit. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. What's going on? What's this? Left tackle. His ran. That's better, but you're still in bad shape, though, man. That's better, but you're still in bad shape. Okay. I mean, do I have to expound on that? Um, it's a better block. The D the uh, linebacker here, you know, he's not whooping ass that much on this play like he was at first, right? But you do see Ryan kind of sort of handle the situation, even though he's giving up too much ground. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's a lot of ground to give up. I, as an offensive lineman, former offensive lineman, coach and all that stuff, I feel like if, once you get to this point, we lost. We lost. Now, this is technically a technique, though. When somebody gets to this point with you, punch them in the kidneys and run them that way. Yes, but I would prefer you to stone the guy at this point. Ryan's just not there to do it. You see what I'm saying? Because that's where your pocket comes from. See everybody else in this pocket? This pocket would be perfect if everybody got blocked right here. But instead, Ryan had to move and you know run that little joint right there. That's what that's that's what I mean. But he's still kind of in a in a not in the best spot, is is what I'm saying. Cool. Uh another point, like I said, let's take a look first. Oh, he cool, but he can catch people. But Ryan Ramchick love blocking 57 today, boy. <laughs> Cause he caught this dude all day. He just caught him. Look at that. Still want you to put a little ass whoop on on fella when he, you know, when he does that. All right, put some ass whoop on him. You gave up a lot of ground, but that's that's a little better. That's a little better, Ram check. It's a little better. What happens here? What's going on here? What we got here? Next level blocking. I can do it. Hey, you let that dude run to the second level and block linebackers all day. I love it. Uh, what's happening here? Okay, you got a little, got a little funky little, funky little play here. Okay, I'll take that. Ryan Ramchick right here. Would you move this dude, please? Like, I feel like he ain't moved nobody all day, man. Uh, and look, man, I know y'all going to call me biased. <laughs> y'all going to be like, why would you use that tone in your videos? Like, that's just going to make us think Ryan Ramchek's a great player. Why would you act like... Yes, Ryan Ramchek is a great... He's a cool little player, man. Ryan Ramchek, cool. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm not saying he's terrible. But just just, just watch a little film before you listen to the to the, to the, to the, to the peanut gallery. You know what I mean? This this is what happens with uh, draft media, and I say this all the time. Like uh, Ryan Ramchek is probably the uh, the best tackle in this in his class, or whatever. Now that's relative to the class, though, because most best tackles in classes look better than that. But it's relative to you know the guys that you're being compared with, right? So with Ryan Ramchek being the best tackle in the class, roughly on the board. They're going to hype him up to be, oh, man, he might be a top 10 guy. And I've seen those mocks with him being a top 10 guy. I just don't think it fits there. I just don't think Ramchek fits in that in that top conversation. I think Ryan Ramchek could probably be a, a better right tackle in the National Football League. I mean, he could probably be a left tackle. Don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't predict the future. I'm not Cleo Lombardi. That ain't what I do. I just watch film that's put in front of me. And I watch film with y'all like my coaches watch film with me. Okay, like I watched the film with my players, right? I just want y'all to understand that, that the tape will never lie to you. It'll never lie to you. And when y'all listen to these media scouts, you basically taking their word for it. 
If they come out and say, oh, Ryan Ramchek has a mean streak, he's nasty, great power, fire off the football, great technique, okay, cool. If you let them say that, it's up to y'all if y'all believe them or not. You remember you remember high school? Some of y'all not even in high school, but most of y'all, like, remember high school, you was in math class, and you could, like, get the answers for the homework, but the teacher wants you to show work? College like that, too. But the, but the uh, teacher wants you to show work? This is me showing work, okay? This isn't just me giving my opinion and y'all just taking my word for it, okay? So, and like I said, man, don't 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 take this, don't take my word as law, okay? I want y'all to, to watch this video, put it into consideration, you know, put it into perspective. And I want y'all to watch film on your own and tell me how my opinion stacks up with yours. That's what I that's what I would prefer y'all do, opposed to just take my opinion and run with it, all right? With that being said, if you appreciate this video, put a little ass whoop on that like button. Go in the comment section, tell me what you think about Ryan Ramchak and my assessment of him. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Also, there's a little bell next to that subscribe button. Go ahead and join the notification squad. Once you hit that bell, it'll uh, give you updates for uh, whenever I drop a video, just a random impromptu video like today. You'll be well aware. Follow me on Twitter, Vach Lombardi, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Also, um, join my Facebook group, Lombardi's Draft Talk. There's a link in the description for the Twitter and the Facebook. Also, if you want to uh, support this channel a little bit more directly, man, keep this thing growing. Keep it on the rails. Keep this thing ass whooping. Put a little something on the Patreon. All those links are in the description, man. Hey, we got some videos coming. I got a couple off days. The day job been whooping my ass lately, but I got a couple off days. I'm going to be dropping some videos, man. So y'all be on the lookout for that. All right. Y'all hold it down, man.